So the ribs have been uh, epoxied together now. So next I'm gonna pull them all out of here and uh, just kind of sand them down a little bit. They're, I mean, they're not super pretty, but just has to be good enough, it'll be fine. So these are all sanded nice and smooth now, and I went and marked where all of the glue is gonna go. So now I'm going to just mix up some epoxy. Small batches, these pumps work great. I got them kind of glued up in there and clamped together. There's some gaps, so I had to kind of squeeze it together with the clamps. And I think I'm gonna get some more epoxy and just kind of fill in the rest of the, the gaps a little better. So three pumps was a little too much epoxy. Uh, it started going off too quick and melted my cup. I'll just do one or two next time. We're shooting vertical now for TikTok. TikTok. Why, are you, why aren't you helping this? Why don't you do this? Yeah, I'll do this. Why aren't you doing this? Oh. <laughs> you get hair out of your eyes? You got it? You got it, bro? Should I do it vertical? No, I don't do, I don't do vertical. Oh, maybe it's going to do that. <laughs> oh, Paul. Oh. We have those bars. Good. This part broke off, but I can glue that back. Okay, now the work begins in the second half. I'm rejiggering the uh, strong back. I just have to move two of the battens. And it only have four instead of five this time. And there is the strong back assembled and I put my stations and got it ready to glue these stringers in. So that will be the next step. Here are the stringers, zip tied and glued for half two. Everything is going much faster. I just cut out some strips for the, for the ribs now. I just let those soak for a few hours in this gutter section. Now I gotta stand these because they're not quite all you know, when you glue them up, they don't come out perfectly. And get rid of all this stuff. These uh, handheld belt sanders are pretty awesome. For that job. Now I got this uh, gunnel piece clamped on here so I can mark where I want that I need a notch right here. And then I guess it'll end like there. Now I'm cutting out a uh, spot in the for the seat to go. While the boat is uh, drying over there, I'm building this uh, seat. So this will slide over the uh, the bulkhead. I just kind of clamped up this jig real quick so I could drill these holes. So that seat, once the two pieces are both half star together, will just fit together like that. Holes to make it a little bit lighter and so it could drain. Um, I'm gonna see if I can get my mom to upholster it now. All right, popped this one off the molds. Um, now the last part for the frames is to glue these, these gunnels out. So I had to cut a notch for that little bracket I put in there and a notch for the knees. So I've got four of these to do. And I just kind of want to fill in these holes with epoxy too that I used for, for the clamps. All right, the gunnels are gluing up. Now I've got the two halves clamped together and I'm just going to drill some some holes so I can attach 
and disattach them. Looking good with that varnish on them. Is it gonna stay on there, Dad? Yeah, I'll try to finish the dinghy. Well, you. So it says the first step is to put this heat and bond tape on the edge with the clothing iron, so that's heating up. Finish the first step of uh, putting the reinforcing Kevlar on there. It looks all right. Now I'm going to roll out some fabric and start the process of covering it. So I'm finding it pretty difficult to get these. Uh, these wrinkles out. Um, I'm just gonna keep working at it though. We will see. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, it doesn't look great. I'm not sure what I did wrong. Uh, maybe I'll try to do better on the second half. So I definitely got it looking better. Um, I got all the wrinkles out up here mostly. I think I should have maybe worked my way out in the middle, but it's said to work from the back. To the front. I think I'll just live with that for now. I'm just gonna trim it off. And here it is. I just finished tightening up all the Kevlar strings and still a fair amount of wrinkles, but I'm okay with it. It gives it character. Uh, looks pretty good from a distance. I'm going to go ahead and cut these off and then I'll have half a dinghy. That one still has to be done. Finally, all this twine is on there. Uh, this is probably my least favorite step, and I don't know if it's really even necessary. It probably took me three hours for each section just to lay this out and heat bond all the pieces. I don't know why, it's just so hard. It's such a pain to work with because it kind of unravels on you. And uh, I don't know, I just don't think you probably get that much out of it. Um, but it's done, so now I gotta move on to the uh, fabric again. All right, so I'm using a slightly different strategy this time. I kind of bunched up the excess with clamps. So hopefully there'll be less to shrink out over here. And I mean, it seems there was a whole lot more before. So I'm a little, I'm still, I'm optimistic this might work. I feel like I'm really starting to get the hang of this uh, shrink wrap fabric. Like, look at the amount of uh, curve you're able to get into it. It's pretty cool. Um, yeah, so still a lot to go. Mm -hmm. But we're getting getting a, a much much less wrinkles to start. Let's 
Finally time to test out this dinghy and see if it floats. There's still a bunch more to do, like I'm supposed to put a little bit of a keel and some rub rails on there. Uh, it needs oar locks and uh, a few other things, but I'm just gonna try this out how it is now. Bolted together, seat on there. Alright, the truth. The first test of the dinghy. So weird, you can like see the water through it. Any words from the captain on his maiden voyage? <laughs> um, I think I need oar locks and more, more waterproofing, but I'm pretty happy with it, I guess. I think it'll do what I wanted it to. Standing on these, uh, the fabric just doesn't feel like a good idea. This stuff is really thin. Um, so I made up these templates. I'm gonna make some just thin plywood floors to go, to go in there so you can, when you step in it, you're not right on the, uh, the fabric and then for the other person they can sit on that I'm too. The parking lot, I'm just gonna cut these out so the wood will fit in my car. I already cut the sheet in half. We're gonna add a keel fin now. Hopefully that'll make it track a little bit better. All right. These will be the uh, kind of rub rails along the side. We got the keel on there, keel fin. Let's see, there's a bend on there, nice. I got the dinghy uh, nested together and lashed down to the uh, front of the boat. I think it should be good there. Made it through the night. The sun's coming up. Now I'm gonna go ashore, so I'm installing my, my oar locks in the dinghy. I got these plastic ones just because they'd be lighter. I got the dinghy all assembled. I'm gonna row it about half mile, a mile to my Grams' house over there. This will be the first real test of the thing. With my laundry and some, some stuff. Well, that wraps it up. Thanks for watching my dinghy build video. Um, seems to be working pretty good so far. No idea if it'll actually last long term. It seems pretty uh, <laughs> lightly built, but it was a fun project anyway. So next I'm gonna head up to Punta Gorda uh, for a couple of days before um, going on a social distancing sailing trip down to the Keys. That should be a fun little four or five day trip. Until then, I'll catch you guys in the next video.